Today we're going to talk about some vintage items that are not only spooky and creepy, but cute to many people and that can sell for a lot of money. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about a fad that had been in for a very long time. Today we're going to be talking about trolls. Let's look at some and show you right now the sheer value in these items. Now, the original trolls were created by Thomas Dam in Denmark. They were actually originally carved out of wood. You will still find some made out of wood. The wood ones are extremely valuable and sell for a ton of money. Now you will see marked on the bottom of the earlier ones, D-A-M for Dam, Thomas Dam. Now to me, the earlier ones have like a, almost a greasy feeling to them to some extent. The plastic is a little different, so it's a little unique. Again, these were designed after wood ones that he actually carved. They were considered good luck trolls where he's from in Denmark. Now, some of the earliest ones go for a ton of money. Now, one of these is actually a monkey troll, and that's why this lot sold for over a thousand bucks. The outfit's original as well on the female. So you want to have everything original that you can have. The earlier they are as well, usually the better they are, the more expensive they will be. Now, another thing I look for are ones with tails, like this one here. There's a bunch of different varieties and versions of these. They made them in different clothing outfits and all sorts of other aspects to them. Size-wise, they come down to, say, about an inch big, three inches big, five, seven, 10, 12, 17 inches even for some of the large ones. So size-wise doesn't always matter at all in these also. Now, there's other pieces People who made them besides Dan, which we'll show you in a few moments here as well. One of the deciding factors I always look for are actual separate either plastic eyes or glass eyes as well in some of these. Some of the wooden ones I run into have had glass eyes in them. This is a nice example here, over $500. Now here's a real early one here. This has the string belt, the costume, the whole works, hair still in good condition. This one went for almost $400. Again, it will say DAM on the foot base, D-A-M. Now there are sites out there that you can easily look up that will catalog all the different years that they came out based on markings and things like that. There are some that will not have any markings, some of the earlier ones too. I believe this this is one of those right here. Now here's another baby monkey, a baby monkey troll. That's why this one went for 1250 bucks. Now if you don't know the difference, you could blow a ton of money by selling it too cheap and not realizing what you have. Now this one has the little chain, the little label that says damn with the actual troll's face on the front. Nice, interesting one. Original, as you can see, it went for over $1,200. Now, they made many different lines and characters, as I said. This is an oddball color, hence the price for $400. has a tail as well. The color is basically why, what it is, the figure itself, why it went for so much. Now, they made characters as well. These are Vikings. A whole series of these they made at one point. It's just like any other toy line out there. They made many different variants, just like the Baby Monkey and some of the other ones that they made. This one has long ears, white hair pointing down. It's a unique, different style one. It's a newer one as well, 1977, but it still went for over a thousand bucks. Here's another unique one, Jabberwock Crow. Totally unique character may not even realize it's from the troll line. For me, most of the time, you can easily tell just by the type of plastic it is, the feeling that it has. If you picked up a few of these, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. They just kind of feel greasy. It even has that look to it to some extent. Now, I know there's not really grease on it. It just has that, that feel to it when you pick them up. Now, as I said, Dam is not the only company that made these. Russ made them as well. This one went for $220. It's a Dracula. It's 20 seven inches it's a plush with a rubber face basically the vinyl rubber face interesting one to say the least now besides thomas dam doing wooden ones other people did as well this is anton sveen i believe that's how it's pronounced i may have pronounced it wrong but either way they're extremely well collected some of these can go into the hundreds if not thousands any wood troll I would take a chance on if it's dirt cheap. These can go extremely well. There's never a problem with selling these either. They usually do not sit any of these sorts. As long as it's vintage, it's an original, and it's well done. 
Now here's just a couple more by Sphene as well. Nice, interesting, unique ones. Uh, these are probably more folk art than you would see for the actual damn plastic versions, but they're still incredibly neat in my book. And this lot here for the two went for 295 bucks. Now here's another line from Norway. These are knife form. And again, they are basically the same thing, just a little different cultural look to them from their folklores and things like that. Really nice one here, basically 250 bucks. The company made many. They're all along the lines of this same look, the same style as well. Now this one here is a unique one by Anne Rhee. Now Anne Rhee made a bunch of the music boxes and carved wood figures and such for it that you will see. They made Christmas manger scenes also. This is a troll by them, $133. Now there are some wooden ones that were actually carved, but the majority of the ones I've ever run into are like a molded resin or plastic, but they still sell for some pretty darn good money. Now here's another German one by Heiko, and this is actually a bobblehead. Fairly unique. This one's a little bit creepy, holding a doll's head. It's supposed to look like a severed head. But now another thing with these, they will all sell very, very quickly. You'll never have to relist them. You can list them as a bin or an auction with most of these as well. Here's another by Heiko. This one is well sought after. The look's kind of odd. It's out there. Uh, a devil troll of some sorts, I would say. $110. Now, just like any other industry, once the trolls started to sell immensely well, other people started to knock off versions of them. This is a Boris Karloff likeness of Frankenstein done as a troll. Now, this kind of reminds me of the Wishkin dolls. They are kind of similar in structure to this. There's no marking. Uh, they're suggesting Hong Kong, which is probably what I would say as well. Because it's Frankenstein, it's odd, it's unique. It's a different type of item, something you just don't see. 230 bucks, basically, on this one. Comic companies picked them up as well. This is by Dark Horse Comics. It's another troll. This is like a blind box where you didn't know what you were going to get. This one sold for 177 bucks from England. Now, for those Doctor Who fans like Dom from Primetime Treasure Hunter, here is the troll doll from Doctor Who. Now, this is pretty well collected. You don't run into this one very much at all. Highly, highly sought after one for most of those diehard Who fans as well. Now, action figure lines took off on them as well. These are Troll Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Two of them in the box. These are the standard size figures here. They went for 150 bucks. Obviously, NOS, new old stock in the box, ready to go. Helps a lot that they are sealed. If these were loose, they wouldn't go for anywhere near this. It's the box version of these that's worth the most money. They're not super, super well sought after by Ninja Turtle collectors other than in the box from what I've personally seen. Now, there are some large size Ninja Turtle figures. These are the 12-inch ones. But not only are they the large size version, which are fairly scarce, but they're also trolls as well. Now, this lot sold for a couple thousand dollars, as you can see here, because of the size. They're nearly identical to the small ones we just showed you, but these are monstrous size compared to those. Extremely scarce, extremely sought after, again, because of the size. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Transported us to a world of Levi's slacks and jeans, tweeds, cords, 
flares with Dacron polyester. It was magic. Bush jeans, blue jeans, bells, beautiful Levi's magic, coveralls, knickers, and mitts. And we cried for more. No, I must go to other towns, he said, and he left. Left us with our new Levi's. Yes, we'll miss that stranger. But you know, life will never be dull in our town again. By the way, how are things in your town?